Did you know that one of the smallest neighborhoods on the Charleston Peninsula is right next to the largest park? Let's go check out Hampton Park Terrace. Before we get into this, if you haven't subscribed yet down below, my name's Bill and I put out videos every week about Charleston neighborhoods, the real estate market, and just overall living, working, and playing here in this city. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into this. All right, let's start real quick with where we are here. Where is Hampton Park Terrace? Now, Hampton Park Terrace is one of the most northwestern neighborhoods on the peninsula, and it's also one of the smallest. So it's only nine blocks long by two blocks wide, and it is bordered by Hampton Park, which we'll get into later, the largest park on the peninsula to the north and Congress Street to the south. And then on the east and west sides, we do have the Citadel and Rutledge. All right, so let's talk a little bit of history about the neighborhood first. Now, the neighborhood didn't start to get platted out until the early 1900s and three quarters of the neighborhood was platted out in 1912 and that last quarter didn't get developed until late into the 1930s. Now, that first three-fourths of the neighborhood, now, the homes in here are very different than everything else in Charleston. They kind of broke tradition from the Charleston-style homes that you see in the historic areas south of Broad. Now, they are very period-esque here, and we're gonna see a lot of four-square homes, bungalows, cottages and craftsman style homes. Now, they represent this area so well that in 1997, these three quarters of the neighborhood were actually placed on the National Registry of Historic Places. That's about 217 of the 371 homes roughly are on the National Register of Historic Places. Now, why not all of them? Well, that other quadrant that was developed later, there are a lot of different styles in there. They don't really fall under historic homes. And you can actually even find some newer homes in there that were built in the last 15 to 20 years or sooner. So I know your question is, Bill, how much do these homes cost in Hampton Park Terrace? Well, most of the homes are actually gonna be between 800,000 and 1.5 million. Now, it's not uncommon to see something go between five and 600 to 700 hundred thousand dollars but those homes they're going to be smaller and they're probably going to need a lot of work and then on the other side of the spectrum those newer homes in that fourth quadrant well those those can fetch over two million dollars so as i had mentioned earlier the largest park on the peninsula is right here in Hampton Park Terrace, and that's where we are. This is Hampton Park. It is a 60-acre park on the peninsula. It's actually one of two parks in the neighborhood. The other one, Allen Park, it's just a little pocket park over there. Uh, not much to really say about that. It's just a quiet place to go with a fountain, um, but we're gonna focus here on Hampton Park, these 60 acres. So it's very popular with runners, walkers, joggers, bikers. Um, the loop around the park is one mile. So you see a lot of people coming here and doing their laps to get, you know, not me, but doing their exercise to get that in. The park is also a popular place for weddings, special events, and local photographers actually love bringing their clients here for family photos. Um, guilty as charged, I took family pictures right over there. Now, there are a few interesting facts here about the park. The first, a lot of people say that this is the first place that Memorial Day was actually celebrated. Um, there's a statue on one side of the park to commemorate that. But I think the most interesting thing that I didn't know was in 1932, there was actually a zoo that opened here in Hampton Park. Now, it was a popular zoo, but going into the 60s, it did go um, into disrepair. So by the 70s, they had actually closed the park down and they had moved everything to a new state park over in West Ashley, which was Charlestown Landing. So aside from the park, why do people want to live here in Hampton Park Terrace? Well, there's plenty of reasons for that. Now on the western border, we do have the Citadel, the military college, but just past that, you have Joe Riley Stadium. So most of the people that live here can walk or ride their bikes to see the River Dogs, our single A baseball team play. But other than that, you're so convenient to everything else. You're just a mile away from the Medical University of South Carolina, and it's only a 30 minute walk 
from right here where we are to Marion Square. Now, when it comes to dining options, because the neighborhood is so small, there actually aren't any restaurants right inside the neighborhood, but a lot of them are just across the street or a few blocks away. Some of the locals' favorites are Moe's Crosstown, Harold's Tavern, Melfi's, Leon's, Rodney Scott Barbecue, and if you don't wanna cook or you've got friends or family coming in, there's actually a Food Lion grocery store just at the northeast corner a few blocks away. And also just a few blocks away, is the Greek Orthodox Church. Now, why is that important? Well, that should be important to you because that is the home of Charleston's annual Greek festival. So what do you think? Is the premium worth it to live here in Hampton Park Terrace or would you prefer to live somewhere else on the peninsula? Let us know down in the comments. And as always, if you're looking to sell or buy anywhere in the greater Charleston area, I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. I've got all of my info down below. You can email, text, call, Hit me up on social media, however you'd like. I will see you on this next video.